I'm Priscilla from Blue Wave Fit, and welcome to the first week of our holiday survival series. Today, we're going to be talking about goal setting and the obstacles that are going to be in the way between now and the end of the year for you to stay healthy. So, goal setting 101, let's set a goal. We're going to do that using the SMART acronym. If you've never used that before, well, you'll learn something new today. So, take a look here. We've got our SMART. And we want to make sure that that goal is specific. That means that it has a number in it. We want to make sure that goal is measurable. So it is something that you can count or measure definitively. Makes us feel good when we know that we've accomplished that. It needs to be an attainable goal. And this goes hand in hand with the next one, which is that it needs to be a realistic goal. So consider that you're gonna be setting a goal between now and the end of the year. We wanna make sure that it makes sense and that it's achievable. And this last piece here just stands for time. And we already have that worked into our, our goal system because we know that the end of the year is gonna be our deadline for the goal. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about what do you wanna get out of this season? Do you want to maintain your weight? Do you want to lose weight? Do you want to achieve maybe a certain PR in something, whether that be running a mile or deadlifting a certain amount? You want to be specific about what you want to accomplish, and that way you will know what steps to take in order to get there. And we could be wishy-washy about it, but I think setting that goal will give you that concreteness that you need during this time, that structure that you need during this time, so that you've got something to go back to and that you can stay on track to achieve. So take a few minutes, take 10, 15 minutes, whatever you need to kind of clear your mind and really reflect about what it is that you want to accomplish during this season. And then we're going to talk about calendar in just a moment. All right, well, the second thing I want to talk about with you is let's take a look at our calendar and we're gonna identify obstacles that stand between you and the end of the year feeling guilt-free about this season. I brought mine in, it's a paper calendar I keep on our refrigerator. Yours may be digital, but what I wanna show you is that I went ahead and wrote out things that are coming up in my near future that I need to be prepared for. So first of all, I've got my daughter's birthday that's coming up, as well as my best friend's birthday, it's her 40th, so it's a big deal, I gotta be ready for that. And then lastly, we have Thanksgiving here and I wanna prepare for what that's gonna look like. For those of you that are traveling, I especially want you to put that on your calendar and to know ahead of time. Get it out, put every commitment, every event, anything that you're doing and between now and the end of the year, you wanna go ahead and put it down and be able to know that it's coming. We're gonna talk more about what we're gonna do for each of these events, but right now I just want you to know what they are and when they're coming. So this week you're gonna do two things for me as far as your weekly challenge. First, you're gonna set a SMART goal something that's realistic that you can accomplish between now and the end of the year. And secondly, you're going to identify what events and what obstacles are going to be between now and to the end of the year. And if you want to join our conversation, check out the Twitter account that we've got going on. It's hashtag HolidaySS2014. And if you want to find us on the web, you can seek us at www.bluewayfitocala.com. Thanks for watching.